All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Delicious, Delicious in Dungeon, Dungeon episode, episode one. one. We get to the D and D show that literally has D and D, &D, &D the as the title. Yeah. yeah. Hell yes. Hell yeah. Let's okay. go. Let's, let's do it. Let's let's roll. And even better, Delicious in Dungeon. So if it's about like you know like mm. adventuring and eating stuff and whatnot, that's actually like kind of that's that's like literally something that one of our D and D parties does. That's literally one of our D and D parties. We're called the Food Fighters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we just we happen to have a bunch of different characters. Like one's a chef, one's a like tracker, Skinner. You know, like all these different things. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we eat what we uh yep. what we uh what we kill. So this is like perfect in all sorts of ways. I'm very excited for this show. Yeah, we use every part of the gelatinous ooze. You know, we make yep. sure that every single that's right. Piece it makes some Jello. You know, just throw some true. some strawberry flavoring in it there. Makes a good you know? glue. You know, yeah. for like mm. you know just nice little sealant on wounds. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. Stuff just like just ignore the stinging. The pain means it's working. <laughs> right, right. It's disinfectant. Yeah. That's right. what it is. That, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, big rock. That just Sounds to me like a nice, like a uh, nice big chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. exactly. Yep. But yep. I'm excited to have our, our D and D knowledge put to the test. I'm excited yes. to also have a world in which it is so lovingly just being like, no, we're unashamedly just D and D. Oh yeah. Because a lot of the monsters in D and D are not copywritten by Wizards of the Coast. Like they're just general things that everybody knows about. But there are going to be some where I'm mm -hmm. like, ooh. Can they use those? Did right. they have to slightly buy a license? Actually, or yeah. right, right, slightly change and, the and name. And apparently, yeah. the, as the legend goes, this is just a meme because it actually was just a convenient lining up of when mm -hmm. the manga ended. But the joke that, oh yeah, you know, the mangaka finished the manga so they could play Baldur's Gate three, which is like, <laughs> that's that's fantastic. <laughs> that, that, that's like the hilarious. fact that that just happened to line up. It's like, ah, yes, okay. I I just love the place that we're in where people are like, oh, do you know of record of Lotus War? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's like the the one D D project that's been like anime animated and right. stuff. And, and now it's like, no 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 we got some basic, you know, like <laughs> Buzz and Woody middle, just just like D D references everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This sounds just like it's gonna be amazing. And it's also Studio Trigger. Right. That's just so like I was already we, can, excited to see it. And then it's like, oh it's trigger. Stop winning. Yeah. If anything, I'm excited to relax a little bit because mm -hmm. I feel like with cooking and stuff, there's only so much plot you can have right. when good everything vibes. is hina hina. Well, yeah, hina hina, and like th that's a good point because with Golden Conway is very much a cooking show. But like the previous cooking show that I'd seen was a long time ago, which was Sweetness and Lightning, which was awesome. Right. But you know, it, it doesn't have necessarily that same like. Uh, thing that can hook people in you right. know beyond the cooking so now it's like okay yes more cooking shows let's let's get it and yeah okay. and and while you're definitely going to have the D, D party and that can mm -hmm. lead to interpersonal drama i i don't know if they're going to spend that much time animating like fights against the things that they end up eating i right? want this to be like one of those one of those healing shows where it's just like good vibes and just they they kill monsters and they eat them and they teach us how it works and we get beautifully animated you know food montages I mean, yeah, and, I'm, I'm ready yeah. for it. So, yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh. Ah, the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Prefer to pick me. Ah. All right. Shit. Creepy. The legend of the dungeon. I love that little background track that they have there. Oh, Durgan? Yeah, Immediate Durgan! Dragon? Let's go! Mm. Okay! We got a samurai, a barbarian, a wizard, a cleric, a fighter. Group up and hit it till it dies. Or maybe a paladin. Oh. <laughs> if only I had better food. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Having this existential yeah. crisis while his party's getting killed. <laughs> No, you're about to get squished. Oh my god. <laughs> well, when the frontliner hangs back and the... Yeah. 
Oh shit. Oh no. My last spell yeah. I'll ever cast to teleport you out to safety. Classic healer stuff. The, like they just gotta carry everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, one of them got away. Oh, oh. Oh, they got split up though. Or maybe that. Yeah, that was the one person who couldn't get away. Yeah. Right. The delicious in dungeon was actually the friends we made along the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> How does resurrection? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Laughing Wolf Tavern. Mm -hmm. Yes. They can't afford it. Yep. Oh. Well, you could take a really easy job just to get money to then get food. Wait. Uh, no, we're not letting you hawk our shit. <laughs> I care about selfish, my dude. Yeah. Oh. I heard that Daisuke. Indeed. The halfling rogue. Right. Well, yeah. So this is how they need to eat the monsters because they don't have anything else. Mm. <laughs> Luring <laughs> with the DM, like we don't need to go. Yeah, it's up like, to, but, but what about those? Uh, what about those fort saves? I'm a paladin. Yes, but the rest of us. Yep. Which ones again? Yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> No, that was the bard just being horny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chunks. Oh. Someone with dark vision walking around. Oh, oh my food. god. <laughs> <laughs> no, here comes the mob. No, it's a Dark Souls mushroom. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dungeon gourmet guide. <laughs>あ、ナイス、ナイス。いや、みんな一様に奇妙な姿をしていて、そいかかってくる。しかし、それらこそ乗る。え、ガレム。唯一の証だ。ふふ、confused like stinging. Maybe. Ah, the first one's a chicken, yeah. どんな生態をしてるのか。Oh. <laughs> one, one of those, one of those vaguely uh, resemble the sexy lady. It's a Medusa. Mm-hmm. 
Mushroom, you could saute it. That's why I freaked out. Yeah. They probably couldn't slice it. Right. But that means that means it's perfect for sauteing. Right. Yeah, you should probably remove the stinger. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, Oh. Oh my god. Yes, his look. Yeah. He holds the pincers up to the paladin. What are you, an idiot sandwich? <laughs> oh my gosh. Skin it and lose the butt! Save the feet? Okay. Mushroom foot snow. <laughs> yeah, yes, there we walk. go! It's a walk in the, <laughs> in the dungeon! Luckily, my spice rack. No. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh, it is. It is. Yep. Yep. I got silenced. Wait. How did. You just stabbed it and that yeah. was enough? Okay. Yeah. How'd you do that? What? Okay. Okay. <笑>これをままでは完結類の果実を加えたネットで送っとるか。イエス。飛び込み1。クオ。2週間ほど絶食させた方がいい。わしが作った携帯スライムを欲しい。挟んでおくと。あ、スライムワッフル。Oh my gosh. Wow. Everybody looks at me like I'm weird. Oh, wow. I like to think that the, the walk in the Holy land. shit. That looks pretty great. Oh. Come on, eat some. It's gonna be great. The the starving <laughs> versus <laughs> ah! just immediate like yeah. she I love that everybody else is like no we actually are you guys do whatever you want we're, yeah we're just here just chilling mm -hmm. seeker cool. ハギシのキルちゃんが仲間が一人迷宮の仮装で魔物に食われてしまって消化される前に助けたいのです。一体どんな？アンエンシェントレッドライブ。いや。ああ。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。
<笑>あ、ファックだ。いや、僕物に巻きつくが消化能力はない。自分で対比を作る植物なんだ。ああ、マイガーシ、ダッツワイルド。普段君が食べている野菜も元を辿れば生き物の糞やし。いや。ああ
but like, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Like, yeah, this is how you do it. Like, and I gotta say, I love the I love the detail that they're going into with regards to how they're making the different dishes from the monsters. Like, it's not mm-hmm. just as simple as like, and now we take this thing and then like chop it, like slice it up and, and just, boil it. Yeah, and throw it into a you know frying pan. That would and, be boring. You know, that yeah, would not no, be tasty. This is this is like full on cooking show. Yeah. Like, it's it's frustrating that these aren't things I can actually make, right? Like, it's like, ah, yes, wait, well, but slimes can. don't exist. No, but know? that's the thing. These are all correlating to some actual real world. Right, food. trying to turn it into a substitute for something else right, that's exactly. more common. Right, exactly. So, so yeah. you can make them. It's just that you have to actually go and exactly. cook it. That requires some effort and some yep. some skill. Yep. And and the idea that our, our party has different levels of of interest in this kind of thing is really right. fun because Laos is the main character-ish uh-huh. but even then the main reason why he's the main character is just because he's got the passion for this and it's his sister that's the one that's caught here mm-hmm. but the other two uh, Marcel and, and and Chilchuck they could absolutely be the, the main characters in the like focus of whatever this story mm-hmm. decides to, to well, do because see, there's no other really thing that's going to carry them through this dungeon other than the well we, we got to like Get her out of the dragon's digestive tract at some point, eventually. Right, because like that, we'll we'll be in time for that, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dragons digest things. She won't slowly. have suffocated or you know have just melted from well, just the overwhelming I think, heat. Of being I think they are the fully dragon. going for no. She's already very dead, but we can get the corpse back, and as long as it's in big enough pieces, we can like put it back together and we like can, we can do, that. do a resurrection spell, like. But I, I fully like to believe that the reason that Laos is the is the leader here is not mm-hmm. just because of the motivation, right? Right, right. But it's just because he's got the big thick armor and so he'll be he's the he's the, the canary that they throw into the coal mine, you know? But the problem <laughs> is he then started having this like whole existential crisis thing of like, you know, wait, why are we here? Why are any of us here? You know? And then suddenly his party's getting like just absolutely slaughtered and he's standing there to the point where the healer is then like, no tank, get out of the way. I'll I'll take this one for you. Like that felt, and the fact that it was also a sibling too, yeah. that feels so apropos because it's, mm-hmm. it's so wrong from the standpoint of like traditional party composition, how we would want to do this. Right. He's got full plate. He theoretically could have been fine. And also yeah. you're the healer. You could like kill him, but it's the, no, he's in, He's in one of his modes right now where he is actually just a problem. He's a problem now, right? The, yeah. the, the tank has become a liability, you know? Yep. And so I'm going to save him even though it, like, I'll Man's die in the out process. there when the fight is going on. He's looking at his phone and he's just uh-huh. like, you know, yeah, they, I need to order pizza. Right, like, that's, that's what his player is doing. That's what his 100%. player is doing. And the DM got so tired. He's, of, just, he's like, just like, your turn is skipped. Yeah. Just go. go. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, okay, you're next. I push him out of the way. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Would Would you say DM that because his turn was skipped, he's just taking the dodge action? No. Okay. All right. Well then. Uh... He is just standing there drooling, but he didn't get hit with the confused spell. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Um. That Don't was. Don't you know it's the green dragons and the blue dragons that cast spells, not the red dragons? Uh, yes. <sighs> Come on. I... Yeah, this this was this was a very fun like relaxed intro to everything that was happening, despite mm-hmm. the fact that some of the things that were talked about felt very serious. You know, right. like oh yeah, no, our our party members dead. Okay, so we'll get them back, right? It's like okay, you, you've heard like you know if 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 they were pooped out, that's technically still them, right? So like <laughs> yeah, you, you, and the, I love the rogue is just there, like I don't think I've heard anything about that. Like yeah, I also love the idea as well that they're like either capable of casting high level spells like resurrection mm-hmm. or it's the idea that they're like no 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 we'll then carry the poop in a pack up mm-hmm. to the cleric that can cast resurrection so you you know how to wash that walk like very well right right, right. yes why no reason <laughs> you know i i also just love the idea of the dwarf being so or sentient being so excited about Essentially, being so excited about eating dragon, mm-hmm. where it's the okay, you, you realize that they lost to the dragon, right? So, what makes you think that? Yeah, like, with, and other party members also just decided to leave. Right now, now the thing is, you might not know that. Well, you might be like, oh, you made it to the dread dragon. That's enough. If you can do that, all I need is. I have this really nice dragon toenail clipper. I'm just gonna really hard hit its toe. No, see, grab it, that toe 
and run the fuck away and then go cook it and then yeah fuck killing the dragon no, no. we're just gonna eat it it's just gonna be a demonstration <laughs> of what happens when a tank actually then does their job because mm. then suddenly you know the tank is actually pulling aggro and everything everybody else is able to stay Everyone alive knows there are no tanks in fifth edition fifth edition dungeons and dragons uh, that, it would be nice yeah no that's the classic tank problem right he's right, right. he's like i'm basically invincible and the dragon just attacks everybody <laughs> I don't know whether this is like I it's better to think of this guy as a fighter or a paladin or like some kind of like just general like champion, you know, like like hero class yeah, sometimes yeah. in anime. It, it's not but important because we're we no. could be any edition of, you know, a yeah, exactly. TT, fantasy TPRPG. Right, whatever, right. So. You know, that definitely isn't D and D, right? It could be, right. Anything. It could be um, anything. Yeah. Yeah. But I I, I I like their dynamic. I like that the the wizard that's the like ah yes, the bookish one and everything is the classic like I don't want to deal with that. I don't. I don't want to do the the adventurous like you know out I in like the wild survival stuff. I like to sit, I sit in, over here yeah. and cast spells at things way over there. Right. <laughs> uh, and and when we're not doing this, that's me being adventurous. When we're not doing this, right. I sit in a room with a book with a with a nice you know fire in the hearth and a cup of tea and a cup of tea and that's it. Right. That's it. You know. Yeah. So so going out here and being like ah yes we're going to cook this slime that just tried to suffocate me. The, the 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 wizard almost died multiple to a baby times. slime yeah right like a tiny baby slime <laughs> yep they, they <laughs> this is why even your wizard should carry a knife just mm -hmm. just to go no <laughs> no they'll hurt themselves <laughs> like the, they were they were walking across a very sturdy looking bridge mm. and the dm asked for an acrobatics roll <laughs> like, and the wizard rolled a 12 and yeah, still almost but didn't died. ask for something from the person in plate mail no no. Like, you know, that's that's how bad it is. <laughs> like, of course they'd be worried, you know, if they, if they, like, oh, I yes. I mean, what are you talking about, Jacob? This is a meat grinder dungeon. They actually, you know, bring, having a meat grinder with them would probably be very helpful, you know, to just be like, okay. Actually, it would be. The, but I mean, really The heavy. scorpion meat? Well, there are actually some decently small ones, you know, just have the fighter carry it. It's with I, his I, I plate think, armor. I think after a certain you know. point, you're just casting spells. You know, sure. The yeah. consistent thing. Well, isn't there <laughs> isn't there a blade cantrip that just kind of you know? There is like, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use that with five two foot, people. Five so, foot radius. Right, right. You could have two people standing next to each other and cast that spell constantly, and the just person <laughs> just slowly lowers the the the, the like the, the animal just into it. Just <laughs> then, yeah, right. Maybe the issue would be that it would just splatter everywhere. I mean that that's fine. I mean, Prince the digitation. You know, yeah, you just yeah, yeah. clean it all off and scoop it into a <laughs> meaty pile in the center. It's amazing what you can do with the just cantrips being yep. unlimited. And then, right? and then you you ritual cast unseen servant and have it just you know you don't need to worry about getting a bunch True. of greasy fat on your True. hands because it's a it's a it's an entity of force. I'm you so know? ready for the inevitable ritual casting moment where they're all trying to cook and now she's into it and she's just there like hold on hold on let me set everything up yeah because uh -huh. all the people playing the game are like yeah i ritual cast it that takes you know 10 minutes right what do you so, think that 10 minutes looks like you know <laughs> or i like to think that it's like no she starts the ritual cast thing and in the amount of time the 11 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever that it takes her to do the thing mm -hmm. the door's just like no i finished it it's, all <laughs> it's done here you go it doesn't it doesn't take that long that's why this this uh this recipe is so great yeah you know, i did get a girl. little bit of fun darkness vibes from laos the idea of mm -hmm. him being excited by being squished by the plant and her face just like... And, and the thing is, it <laughs> wasn't like something that was very overt with regards no. to how he was drawn. With darkness, it'd be the, oh, hmm, oh, right, rushing, right. hot and bothered, you know. Right, right, with but him, you could definitely tell it was that little bit of like, what, what, what do you think it would feel like? Right, you know? yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like the, the gen just just genuine, pure interest, right. you know? And, and it's just like, hang on a second... Man's got some kind of like feature because of his like paladin levels that like returns him from death with one HP. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. this wizard is here with like twenty four HP, and it's like I don't I don't and, fuck and, with that. And one. she worked hard to get. And she worked hard to get. That. <laughs> I I earned this privilege, or I paid for this. Last privilege. level up gave her three HP. You That's know? right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm then, a level seven wizard. What are you talking and about? And then also just sort of casually like glazing past the whole bit where where Laos is talking about yeah no it leaves its seeds inside you under the surface of your skin 
Like, I almost would be expecting him to suddenly be taking off his plate mail, you know, right? Like That takes 10 minutes, Jacob. <laughs> it just, ah, it's Trigger. It, just suddenly he's naked, and there's, a, and there's a glowing star over his crotch, and he's just, take me now. <laughs> I think we are we are thankfully not in that area of trigger mm. right now. We are yeah. in the area where everyone is excited and positive about the thing, and then we have Marcel who's just like, I, I'm I'm in a good party, right? This is a good idea, right? Maybe I, I should have left with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe too. I should have left with them. I yeah. care about Fallen, right? Like like that's that's, that's he kind of it's, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. yeah, right, and that's why she had to be the first one to be like, no, I'm not letting you go in by yourself. Yeah definitely wasn't just because she wanted to end the conversation about him trying to sell their shit. Right. Um, yeah. Because he probably has the most expensive stuff out of all of them. <laughs> that is actually a good point. He was basically saying, hey, y'all, why don't you just give up adventuring forever? <laughs> I will take all your money and all your inventory. Yes. And just go and sell it to then give myself basically more stuff to then go down into the dungeon by myself. Uh, yeah. And I, I'm totally going to come back alive and everything. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, depending on what... I mean, they... I half expected the rogue to be like, hey, this is my shtick. Like, yeah, like I, right. I, I'm the one who steals I'm the one who back. steals things from the party. Like, like what No, that's, that about? is one thing that I appreciate, actually, with how they set all this stuff up. That with the party members that stayed behind, mm -hmm. they had a very healthy player dynamic. Yeah. The rogue does not try to steal stuff. He is a yeah. he is a wholesome good boy that's just like, hey, team sometimes. first. Yeah, team first. Go team. Yep. But sometimes you need to have a lock get picked or you know, some track like disabled that. or something. Yep, yeah, or just or just shank somebody when they're not looking. Mm -hmm. You know. But he's not doing the thing of the ah, it's what my character would do. Because yeah, they yeah. would have killed that son of a bitch or I mean Laos know. is literally it's what my character would do. Well, like, yes, he, he but, is that player. See and yet Wow, we we yeah, this this mangaka probably had a person in their party that's just the weird, like, weirdo. Lawful stupid. Yeah, you know, well, not even lawful stupid, just lawful uncomfortable. Like, they just <laughs> were like, like, what would happen if, like, I wanted to stick my tongue and they're like, no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> I right. didn't even get to finish what so, I was going to say. Okay, I, I got to say, though. It's I, what my character would Laos, do. Laos is a bit of a legend here. Because he's like, oh, so many delicious monsters that I want to taste. And then there's a Medusa, and it's like... <laughs> I don't think he means cooking. <laughs> I think uh, I think uh, a few extra parts of him will be getting hard quicker than the than the rest when he, mm -hmm. you know, gets uh, hit with the Medusa. That's haze. how you check around the corner. <laughs> I mean, he kind of did that. He stuck his he yeah. stuck his sword he stuck into, his the sword hole into the and hole. Was, was like, and he used right, protection. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he did. It's gonna be fine. He cares about his blade. That's right. Keeps it nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Be respectful to the That's dungeon. Right. Yeah, <laughs> just just in case whatever's in there decides to bite. The dungeon has had so many people inside of it, you know, like, you know, mm. it's it's like yeah. it's wild. It's wild down there. But also the maiden abyss aspect of the like multiple levels, like having different aspects there. There's some kind of curse that's keeping right. the ecology of this actually like working despite there being no natural sunlight. The mystery of okay, how exactly did this come about because we have our current understanding, but that's very much like the tale of the of the city that's down here and all that stuff. And right, like, right. You know, what is actually the situation? Is something with the big wizard, is that actually going to come at, like come into play? Or is it just, no, we just need to save our friend? It's a know? nice bedrock, if you will, for Hit. something to uh, grow out of story-wise. Because you could just mm -hmm. have this story end once they get to the dragon. Yep. That could be it. You could totally or, have that. Or be. they could have it be a thing where, hey, that's it got really successful, arc. and that's just the first arc. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I will say, though, if next episode we get a situation where they're traveling, and then suddenly Marcel's like, wait, I'm not feeling so good. Mm -hmm. And then she, like, collapses, and then there's a bunch of plants growing out of her, and then they have to, like, extract the plants, but then also cook them and stuff. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be really terrifying. Too. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all of this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime, anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.